Welcome to this video that introduces and demonstrates Esri's ArcGIS for AutoCAD bonus tools used to geographically align drawings to real-world coordinates. The bonus AutoLisp command called AFA underscore GeoAlign is included along with a number of companion tools providing a workflow to geographically align drawings based on ArcGIS web services. This set of tools is included along with a growing number of other tools and an optional menu file to provide easy access to tools from ribbons and toolbars. I have loaded the Autolist routines and the ribbon panel after downloading and unzipping the latest version of the ArcGIS for AutoCAD bonus tools. These tools are made available as sample code items on ArcGIS Online. In this session, I will use the included tool set to geographically align a drawing to real-world coordinates. I will reapply an alignment transformation to a similar drawing. I will also use an Esri World File transformation to align my drawing and define its coordinate system. Let's get started. I will go through a six step process to move my drawing's contents into a real world coordinate space. First, I'll establish a saved view of the extent of my drawing that I want to appear in a view when I move the drawing near its correct location. When I perform the AFA GeoAlign command later, it is this view that will be scaled to fit into the drawing canvas before I select those control points. Next, I will choose a coordinate system for my drawing using the ArcGIS for AutoCAD assigned coordinates command that is also included on the bonus tools custom ribbon panel for my convenience. To give me some geographic context, I will add an ArcGIS web service, which will show content in the correct coordinate system. To aid me in the task of finding the correct location for my drawing, I'll use the Esri locate service to pan and zoom to the address, or in this case, the place name, for the correct location of my drawing. This is where my drawing is supposed to appear. Next, I will actually move, scale, and rotate my drawing all at once using the AFA GeoAlign command. When invoked, the drawing view that I had established in the first step jumps into view. I'm immediately prompted to establish two sets of control points. I can dynamically pan and zoom to establish those control points. The final button on the custom ribbon panel is the Esri Apply World File command. I can invoke this tool to perform a one-step transformation. If I already have a valid Esri Transformation World File created by ArcGIS for Desktop, or if I want to reapply the transformation that I've already performed using the AFA GeoAlign command here in ArcGIS for AutoCAD, the AFA GeoAlign tool creates a .aln file with the same prefix as the drawing name so that I can apply previous transformations to any drawing. The Esri Apply World File command can use either World Files or ALN files, which are simply ASCII files that have a list of two sets of coordinates, which are the control points to define the overall transformation. Here's another example of using the AFA Apply World File command. In this case, I have an existing drawing that was previously georeferenced using ArcMap. It has a PRJ file and a World File that combine to both transform the coordinates of the drawing and to define the coordinate system. I want to update this drawing for use in ArcGIS for AutoCAD and to permanently update the coordinates of these drawings so that these two ASCII files are no longer needed. The AFA Apply World File command reads the PRJ file and the world file and updates the drawing. Once I do this, the AutoCAD file itself will be modified and located in the correct real-world coordinates. I can then bring in additional GIS content into ArcGIS for AutoCAD and everything will line up correctly. Once I perform this command, the PRJ file and the world file are no longer necessary. ArcGIS for Desktop will no longer need the PRJ file and world file to position this drawing. Check back often for updates to these bonus tools. Also check back for new videos or subscribe to this YouTube channel to keep you up to date with the latest updates.